Hi everyone, your local friendly otaku here with your Friday video and I just saw the recent Boruto episode and damn, this is what filler should be in my humble opinion. Filler is normally seen as a bad thing since a majority of it sucks but with the recent Boruto episode, I believe if Studio Periot focused more on these types of episodes, like this series would be in a much better spot. So in this video, I will be highlighting the positives on why this particular episode was so damn good. Now, if you haven't commented, liked, and subscribed, I really would appreciate that. Now, let's move on to the video! So, for some quick context for the episode, Naruto as Hokage, leader of the Hidden Leaf Village, makes a new holiday so that parents and children can deepen their bond. Now, seeing how Naruto's reaction to this announcement was fun to watch, as Naruto states, these type of ideas never crossed his mind as they were growing up. Which for you old Naruto fans just hits you a little knowing Naruto never got to spend time with his father, Minato. You know, because he's dead. Anyways, in the next scene we learn that Naruto is late as always to spend some time with Buruto and Hinamari. But Buruto tells Naruto that he's going to spend some time training instead. This can be seen as Buruto giving time to Hinamari to spend some time with Naruto alone. And can I say, this was a good direction to take, as Boruto as a character in this stage of the series is generally disliked. So we mostly get to see Naruto and Hinamari in this episode, which mostly consists of Hinamari wanting a Kurama stuffed toy. And since it's a limited edition, we see Naruto and Hinamari looking for one for most of the episode. This sets up most of the encounters in this week's episode. Our first encounter is Kiba. And goddamn, has his dog seen better days. We also find out that Kiba wants one of the Kar Karama toys for his uh, new girlfriend. Next, we get to see Ino, which I guess opens a flower shop. I wonder if she's still a ninja or if she's retired. Anywho, our next guy is the bug user himself, Shino. I wonder what he's been up to. <laughs> no. Bro, this scene is kind of sad. Well, guess he's still the weird one. <laughs> This makes sense. Since he is the bug user of the group, our last oldie but goodie is Tenten, -ten, the weapons master. She opens a, a weapon shop, but she states the business is not going well since weapon shops are for the most part outdated. And is that the stage? Sage of Six Paths weapons? And are they on sale? I really hope not, but this could just be fakes of the original. After that visit, we can see Naruto looking at his whole wallet, which damn, the Hokage doesn't pay that much apparently. And wow, this whole episode was a huge nostalgic trip, man. I really had fun seeing Naruto interact with his old buddies again, and to see what some of the more forgotten characters have been up to, I digress. The final few scenes have Kiba lose the doll that he got for Naruto to make Inamari happy, which I find to be a good goal. Naruto of course catches the thief fairly easily, but as a result learns that this ninja was supposed to be on a long distance mission, and that he doesn't get to spend much time with his son, so Naruto reassigns him to guard duty as he doesn't have to spend time away from his family. And to add to this heartwarming scene, Hinamari gives the rare Kurama doll to the kid and says she was just happy to spend the day with Naruto. Pause for a second, pause for a second. This right here already shows that, that at age 10, she's far more mature than Boruto, which I can see why people enjoy Hinamari's character so much. She's basically has all the traits that Boruto doesn't. Maturity? doesn't cry like a little bit and she's cute and oh my this last scene we see Hinamari thanking Naruto for such a fun day which we see Naruto tear up a little and I'm gonna be honest with you I definitely got the feels with this last scene anyways Naruto and Hinamari run off into the sunset together 10 out of 10 episode and there you have it these are the areas for filler at least where they should focus most of their time on and the anime would writing wise be in a better spot that's the end of this video remember to like comment and subscribe for more new videos, I'm your friendly local otaku, and I'm signing out. Later.